Ayan. Hello everyone. Good afternoon to all of you. Hopefully my uh, deck is visible to you. Na, no? Thank you for spending your Thursday evening with us by attending this webinar. So by the way, it's already 6 p.m. No, But nonetheless, you can also invite your friends, your family, or someone you know that they are very interested in getting to know more about First Metro Securities, even our trading platform. So you can just invite them over because hindi pa to start yung main part of our session. So who no medyo actually merong same problem with us, no medyo mainit ngayon na araw. So please do take care of yourselves, no? drink a lot of water and stay hydrated. So actually kailangan natin maging coffee, no? As we will spend this hour talking about First Metro Securities Classic Platform. So to introduce myself, no, I am Isnayer Drampaton, but you can call me Tara for short. I am the Mindanao Business Development and Market Education Associate from First Metro Securities, the stock brokerage house of the Metro Bank Group. So as you can see here sa aming lineage, no, para you get to know where we are in uh, Metro Bank Group, no, we are under right the investment banking. So our company in terms of market education efforts, it's dedicated to financial literacy and creating awareness of investment opportunities that empower individuals, whether you are an institution, no, to attain their financial goals. At the same time, we envision to be the largest and most trusted Philippine Investment Solutions Partner. So it's my honor and pleasure to serve you today as your host. So let me just check everything. No, but it's all good. Okay. Again, so um just like this event, no, to share with you our market education uh, program uh that we've been doing for many years. No, no, just like this event, we used to conduct financial and investment literacy seminars. Uh, both on-site and also face-to-face, -face, no? However, due to the challenges that we have before, for example, COVID or even some of our clients uh, na gusto mag-attend ng mga training sessions face-to-face, -face, pero meron na tayong problems with, for example, location or even some of the difficulties, no? So some of our webinar, uh, some of our sessions is naka-webinar format. Pero for now, um, I think most of our sessions is naka-webinar na, no? And a lot of advantages are uh, kasama doon. So we are also regularly invited by the public sector. Uh, we also have the academic institutions, whether we're talking about universities, colleges, and even the private um, sector as well. Though. So it's amazing how technology together with social media channels to enable us to add value wherever we are located. So for example, we do have uh, Bonds 101 with the Bureau of Treasury. And also yung ating MP2 with the pag-ibig to. So some uh these sessions actually are uh, nangyari siya noong February. But uh, for example, if you want to check out these sessions na, for example, hindi kayo naka-attend um, due to some of the reasons, uh, you can actually check out the recorded sessions sa ating YouTube channel. Just search the um yung search handle namin, first MetroSec, and then just click on those sessions na gusto nyo pa panoorin. Okay? Ayan. So let me just share with you some of the sessions as well, no? Uh, so mapapansin natin um yung mga sessions natin whether we're starting with beginner topics, intermediate or advanced level, even mga technical sessions we do offer those ones, okay? Ayan. So I think for this slide, no, uh, napapansin ko kanina may mga repeat attendees tayo. So this may be na hindi siya uh, hindi na siya bago sa inyo no for those but for those who are new to our sessions this is just a data to show where we at in terms of stock market investing here in the Philippines no so a country with over um 100 million in population meron tayong 1.71 million stock market accounts so out of that 1.71 meron tayong 1.2 online accounts. So around 75% are locally employed and there has been gaining interest from our overseas Filipino workers and even our younger ones na yung mga sudyante. So as you can see here, the majority are still from Metro Manila at 81.5% but the rest of the country has yet to catch up. So if my mga friends or families tayo sa Luzon, it's around 10.7% and Visayas is 3.7%. Actually, I'm residing here sa Davao, no? 
So in Mindanao, it's already 2.5%. So medyo malaki yung gap na in terms of population and also stock market investors. So actually, I prepared a short um, poll lang no, para at least we get to know um, our attendees. Okay? So this is very short lang. No? Let me just launch it. Again, hopefully this is visible to you. No? We have two short questions lang para at least our guest speaker um, can get to know more about uh, our attendees in terms of their background of trading or even yung kanilang um, experience with uh, different platforms. So first question is, are you an existing client of First Metro Securities? So you can answer with a simple yes or a no. Second, if not, uh, what is your existing broker? Okay. So goal po natin will um have around 70% to participate in our poll, no? Hopefully um everyone could um also vote, no. But no worries for those na hindi pa nila ma um uh, participate sa poll. And so currently we are at 34%, no. So maybe I'll give around um 30 seconds before I close the poll and also um share with you the results, no. Yeah. So welcome back doon sa mga repeat attendees. Um, I'm very appreciative and also thank you for giving us your support and also your interest in um, attending our sessions and also welcome to our new attendees as well. And wag po kayo mahiya if you have questions and also thoughts no, about our um, topic, especially this is um, very helpful for those um, beginners pa or um, new to our platform. Okay? Yan. Right now, we're at um, almost half of the participants have uh, voted na, no? So maybe last 15 seconds um, is enough. Yan. Yan, maraming movement sa question number one, no? So um, it's also good na may mga attendees din tayo na wala pang um, First Metro Securities account or at least um, they get to know more about our platform, Okay. Yeah, last five seconds. I think um also good na tayo because hindi na masyado um nagmo-move yung ating poll, no? Okay? Yeah, let me just wait for another five or at least sakto talaga 60%, okay? Ayan. Okay, let me end the poll. And then I would like to share with you the results. Okay. Again, so for the two questions, no, we have two simple questions. Number one is, are you an existing client of First Metro Securities? Uh, majority of you answered yes with 80%. And then we have no at 20%. Second question is, if not, what is your existing broker? So let me just check no hindi siya masyado visible but later we'll share with you some of it no um pero thank you everyone for participating with our poll and later we'll be um talking more about our topic no so nonetheless for those our existing investors and even not yet investing in stock market no our webinar for this evening will be perfect for you because we will explore a lot of things no so first and foremost, this the in and out of our classic platform and also guiding you on how to conveniently navigate. We also have uncover investment opportunities, whether you want to monitor price action or buy or sell um, stocks, no, or even check out those charts or um, research reports on specific stocks that you want to um, invest in. We also have, um, you can actually execute trades independently and keep a close eye on your portfolio performance. So for this session, no, we have a guest speaker from our team to help you know more about this. Actually, we are so honored to have her with us. No, um, she had a couple of sessions with uh with the topic of web navigations with our um schedule for this year. No, so hopefully for those na hindi nakatend last time, you will learn more about today so although her professional journey has taken her on a different path no actually our speaker is very passionate for investing no at the same time medyo nagka career 
choice no nag change siya ng career but a way of life that resonates deeply within her so becoming a part Part of First Metro Securities is more than just a goal. It's an opportunity for her to empower and also enrich the lives of many Filipino families. Currently, she actively contributes to First Metro Securities market education initiatives by conducting webinars that focuses on utilizing the First Metro Securities platform at the same time um this is very essential no for our traders in their investment journey so let's all welcome uh, miss joanna blanca ramos she is the customer support associate for first metro securities ayan <laughs> nag on na ng camera no so hi jo the virtual floor is yours yes thank you so much tara no for that introduction so before i start let me just begin with sharing my screen okay so can i ask for confirmation actually same yes, no. tayo ng screen okay so yeah thank you so much tara for that introduction so yeah tara mentioned kanina no na we are from davao so we are in the same team lang so we are very glad to be part of this session and then uh yeah thank you so much everyone actually ang attendance natin is actually growing so we are not yet in the main part of our navigation so you can start or maybe you can invite some friends to watch with you okay and also, yeah, we had a poll. So some of us or some of the attendees here tonight are existing. Existing na siya na first Metro Sec client. And for sure, you were able to access this uh, classic platform of First Metro Securities. And we also have clients who do not have an account with First Metro Sec. So it is like you are considering First Metro Securities as your investment partner. Okay, so... Um, we'd like to thank you for your time and joining us in this webinar. So, okay, yan. So, before I begin, First Metro Securities has three platforms, actually. Our, our topic for tonight or our highlight is the First Metro Sec Classic. So, other platforms we have, ah, First, Met yeah, First Metro Sec Classic, so other platforms, we have the First Metro Sec My. So, yun yung ating, kumbaga, the main site na. We have the first MetroSec Pro, which is for the advanced traders. And we also have the first MetroSec Go. So, for tonight nga, we will be focusing on the first MetroSec Classic. So, the first MetroSec Classic website, it is our standard website. So, it is simple, kumbaga. So, it offers you the basics of uh, stock investing, some details you need, in terms of your investment journey. And at the same time, kahit simple siya, it also provides you a powerful platform, perfect for use in your investment decisions. Okay. So again, uh, Tara mentioned this one. So we will be covering these topics. So first, how to conveniently navigate the platform. Second, where to find investment trade opportunities, how to monitor price action, how to buy or sell your own stocks, or where to monitor portfolio performances. So, ito yung magiging topic natin for tonight. Okay, so ito na. Um, let me just, well, I will be doing a live navigation of the first MetroSec Classic platform. So, let me just uh, share my screen. Okay. Yeah, this one. So can I ask a confirmation from Tara if you are already seeing the classic website? Yes, Jo. Okay, okay. So for everyone, this is the classic website. It is accessible by this website address. So that is firstmetrosec.com.ph. So at the very top, you will see here kung saan natin i-input yung ating credentials. So beside, we also have here, if ever you forgot your account or your username, password, so this is where you go. We also have quick links ng ating first Metro Sec My and the Pro platform. So this homepage also tells you or diverts you to other details. Like uh, this is the home. Uh, this is where you open an account. 
So there are instructions here, how to get started, our products and services, also our seminars. So it is also being shared in this um, homepage and some um, FAQs are about us, our first MetroSec. Okay, so let me just start my navigation. So I will be using a demo account all throughout this session. So just input your credentials here and click login. Okay. So this is now our first MetroSec Classic platform. The first thing you will see is the announcement tab. So ito yung ating pop-up message. So basically, ang announcement, if in case you're, uh, we have like uh, account updating and we also have here like mga tender offers or some bond offers, you will see it here, system maintenance. Uh, dito niyo siya mababasa. So just exit this one. And this is now our homepage. So if you will see, yung homepage ng ating first MetroSec Classic is very simple, straight to the point. Quick glance lang of the details, main details that is necessary. Okay. So the first one, let us uh, check here. We have different tabs. So meron tayong main tab, charts tab, research, quotes, trade, portfolio, and the analytics. And lastly, yung news. So before that, let me just use a spot, spotlight. Okay, yeah. So the first thing we will explore is ang ating main tab. So the, sa main tab, we have here home, account, FAQs, announcement, and contact us. So sa home tab, the first thing you will see is the market index. So let me just zoom in. And okay, so market index. So it will tell you or it tells you what happened to the market. Actually, ito kanina. So the market opened at this price. Actually, yeah, zoom out. I think it opened at 6,300. 6, so, well, moving on. So the market closed at 6,574.88. Um, the green one here, you will see it is the equivalent increase or so this is the market increase at 2.13, that is 0.03%. So below that, you will see here the number 104. Ito yung stocks that went up. The red one indicates the stocks that went down. Sa baba naman yung 50, those are your unchanged stocks. And sa baba is the number of your total stocks. So beside here, you will see account balances. So yung account balances natin, it just tells you kung ano yung inyong market value of your portfolio, your day profit and loss in terms of the value tapos yung kanyang percentage, and then your equivalent buying power. Then after, you have here quick links of your portfolio as well as your view orders. So sa baba naman, if you have stocks now with the first MetroSec, you will see it here. So you have here the code, its last price, and other details. So sa baba, you have here the announcements. So if yung kanina, the first thing you saw was yung pop-up message, ito naman, other details of the announcement. So you have here account update, the tender offer of Bellcorp, yung PLC, and then the settlement dates revision, and other announcements. So sa baba, we have here the research reports. And then beside, we have the PSE market news. So if you click any of this, you will be redirected na to that uh, specific information or report. Okay? So basically, yun yung ating home tab. Uh, another thing I'm going to show you later, ito yung favorite ko din, is itong tools and display. Pero before that, let's move to the account. So sa account naman natin, you will see here your profile, statements, deposit, and withdrawal. So with our profile, you have the option to update your password. So again, as a reminder, uh, keep your password to yourselves as much as possible. Also, you have to change it every six months. So if in case you want to change, so punta lang kayo dito sa profile, input the details needed, and then just click the update password. Tapos, you also have here the um, alerts. So usually, if you want to receive trade alerts via email as well as itong morning and closing session prices. So you just click apply changes. Next, statements. So by utilizing the first MetroSec account, uh, first MetroSec platform, so you have access na to your statements. Simply click statements and you will be redirected to another tab. 
So for this, since demo account lang siya, so wala po tayong makikita ng mga files. Pero basically, you have here the, your statement of accounts. You have your credit memo. You have here your uh, invoice, other invoice, trade, uh, as well as yung mga bond certificate. So any documents related to your transactions, if in case you want to retrieve it, you can also download that one and they are password protected. Okay, so let me just close. Next, we have here the deposit. So you can fund your account via two ways, via bills payment and via credit card. So for the bills payment, these are the options. Actually, not limited to this lang. Marami pa siya. So if it, ito yung usual co uh, common. So we have here Metro Bank. And then, yeah, Metro Bank can be PHP or USD. And then you will also see here yung equivalent na transaction fees. So again, when you fund your account, make sure that it is the correct account code. Uh, account code, it's like the OTA or the OT. Uh, you will see it naman sa inyong platform. So just make sure it is correct para hindi, uh, there, there won't be delay in crediting your funds. Another option we have here is uh, via credit card. So the via credit card option or the debit card, card is only available when the market is open. Okay, and there are also applicable fees when you do or when you choose this kind of uh, funding. So you just have to read on the details no, before you confirm that transaction. So next we have here withdrawal. So should you decide to withdraw from your first MetroSec account? So this is where you go to that part of the platform. So you have here your withdrawable funds and then the other details. So just a reminder, uh, we have cut off po of 12 p.m. So say if you request for withdrawal uh, before 12 p.m., so it will be processed within the day. And then the crediting of funds is depende. If ever you are a Metro Bank account holder, so it will be credited within the day. If ever naman na non-Metro Bank, so it will be credited within one to five trading days. Okay, and then say uh, you want to withdraw. So you just have to input here the amount. Ito yung ating step one. So you have the option, all cleared cash balance ba? Or you have a desired amount. So we have here, next option, you enter the password or your password for confirmation. And then once you've confirmed, once you've made that withdrawal, uh, just click here. And you will have a list now of your withdrawal transactions. You will see here uh, the status then. So usually the status, <clears throat> it's pending, it's approved or uh, canceled. Okay. So that's, a per, uh, that's the first part of the uh, account. So ito na, we have profiles, statements, deposit, and withdrawals. So next we have the FAQs. So FAQs, it will redirect you to another tab as well. You will see all the articles na pwede ninyong basahin. You, ha, uh, you can search here also yung mga inquiries. And then also let me share to you, actually this is the old na help desk namin. Let me share to you our updated one. Yan. So ito yung aming bago na first MetroSec Help Center. So you have here the search bar where you just input yun lang kung ano yung inquiries ninyo. We also have here the predefined uh, mga articles. So say you want to read about FunSmart. So you just click this one and all of the articles related to FunSmart are accessible na sa inyo. Okay, so going back to the platform. Yeah. Next, we have the announcements. So basically, ito yung announcements, but it provides you more details lang din. So I'm not gonna discuss more of this na. Let's go to the contact us part. So we have three offices. Our main office is located at PS Bank Center. These are the contact details, the email address of the customer service. We also have office in Cebu. And also, of course, we have office in Davao. So these are the contact numbers. So should you have questions, you can either visit or call these numbers. Okay, so we are now done with the main tab. Let me share to you this one. So we have here beside yung ating tools and display. So it's like an additional feature, you know. So first, let's check on the market monitor. So for the market monitor, well, basically it uh, provides you monitoring of your, uh, this year we have the watch list, okay. 
So if ever na, uh, you have the watch list now, so you can monitor your cur uh, their current previews, open, and high price. So let me just zoom out kasi meron pa siyang additional column. Okay, so you have here load then. So to add a mon uh, to add a stock na you want to monitor, so type nyo lang dito sa code. So say you have FMETF and then click go. So you have here number eight, FMETF. If you want to delete naman, so you just click on this uh, checkbox and then click on delete. And we have here beside yung options. So these are the options kung ano, ni, kung ano yung details na gusto ninyong tingnan. So say for the first one, you want the, eto naka-predefined na kasi siya. Pero other than that, we also have here the bid, ask, bid volume, ask volume, and other details. So once you're okay, you just click on the done reset. And then it will redirect you again dun sa ating uh, monitor tab. Okay, so you can close this one. Another thing is I'm going to show you itong ating display, additional display. So we have here the trade sticker and the extended view. So yung ating trade sticker, actually since the market is closed, so wala tayong makikita mga, ano dyan, mga buy and sell na ating ticker tape. Okay? So next, we have here yung ating extended view. So the extended view provides you a view of your watch list, a view of like, you have your market glance on the left side, tapos sa right side naman, you have the quick trade and another market glance. So quick lang. Uh, for the watch list, this is where you edit or add. So yan, ito yung ating watch list kanina. So again, to add, just click on edit, input the stock code, so say FMTF, Click on add, and then if you close this one, so you will see FMETF sa number 8. And then to delete, actually you have to, okay, just this one, and then delete. Okay, wait now. Okay, pero yeah, basically that's how you do, uh, that's how you add and delete a stock. Next, we have here the market glance. So so market glance, dalawa naman siya. So you have the stats and indices. So stats, it shows you the top five gainers, worst losers, and the most active traded stocks. So if you click any of this, integratable siya. So we'll, you will be provided of the details of that specific uh, stock. So marie kayo sa quotes tab naman. So let's go back sa home. Uh, after sa stats, you have here the indices. So it will show you the PSEI index, its performance, and all other sectors. So we have here all indices, the finance, holdings, industrial, and the rest. So the right side naman, you have here the quick trade. Say when you are exploring the application or when you are exploring the platform, you are reading on some research, you've decided to trade agad-agad on a specific stock. So this is where you do it, sa quick trade. So simple lang siya. You just decide or click on the transaction if it's a buy or sell. And then input the stock code. So say you want JFC. Input the quantity. Yan, naka-predetermined na din yung quantity. Input the price, the term or the expiration of your order. So we have here day, good till week, and good till month. And then the total of that transaction, and then click preview, and you will be provided now of your uh, transaction details. Tapos other details, then market value, cash, buying power, and also a shortcut of your uh, orders, trades, portfolio, and other quick links. So actually, this is useful. So kanwari, dito sa left side, you want to see a mar market glance ng stats. Tapos dito sa right side, market glance ng indices. So at least you have view of both details. No? So you can view the watch list and other na din. So for this um, purposes, no, uh, I'll just turn off the ticker then and ng ating extended view so that we can focus on the platform. Okay, so next tab na we will explore is the codes tab. So since you have an idea now of what the platform looks like, you want to know more of the stock. So this is where you go. Because the quote tab provides you of this one, the main quote, stock info, broker info, market stats, and the market indices. So let's go to it one by one. First, let's start with the main quote. So under main quote, you have here details of kumaga price action then or the price quotation. So multiple bid yung first tab. You will see here the multiple bid as 
uh, bid and ask transactions or price of that stock. So top 5 yan siya. So you see here dito sa right side, kumbaga ito yung page 1, yan, ito yung page 2, page 3, and the rest. Medyo mahina lang yung internet ko, that's why it takes longer to load. Pero yeah, so okay, under the multiple bid, so you have here the code, the closing price of that stock, and then the bid and ask transactions. So, dito naman sa next tab, we have here the bid and ask. Sa bid and ask, you will only see the top bid and ask price transactions of that specific stock. Kung dun sa kabila, multiple bid, top 5, ito naman yung top lang. So, sa so customization, you have the option to choose kung anong klase yung uh, stocks na gusto niyong i-view. So, should you want that bid and ask only of your financials? Yeah, you can see it here. Or should you want yung inyong stock position, pwede din. Or the watch list, pwede din. So you have here details like yung last price, yung price difference, uh, percentage change, bid volume, bid ask, uh, bid, ah, uh, sorry, ask price and the ask volume. So pwede nyo din siya isort. So you, so you just have to click on any of the columns. So kunwari gusto ninyong i-check kung sino yung may pinakamataas na ask volume. So, you just do, do, do this one. Click on the column now. Okay? So, next we have here the high, low, and last. So, ito naman, additional data provided yung high, low price nung stock na yon. So, you also have here the volume and the value. So, you can also sort this one by clicking on the uh, columns. Okay? And then we have here projected price. Actually, projected price is not available because you uh, it is accessible before the market opens. So, kung baga dito nilang makakita kung ano yung projected price ng isang stock, yung possible opening price niya. Okay? So, that's for the main code. Next is our stock info. So, ito siya, stock specific naman. So, the first thing you will do is to search for the stock. So, kunwari, yan, JFC. Okay, so you can either enter or click go. So you will be provided of the details ng ating JFC. If in case naman you forgot the stock code, so you just click on the uh, symbol guide. So you will be provided of the codes na ng lahat ng mga listed stocks sa PSEI. Also, we have here the board lot then. Okay. So the first uh, tab, we have here the bid and ask. So under sa bid and ask, you will see here uh, two options. If you want to check on the top five or the top ten levels, the bid and ask price, the specific stock na yun. So we have here, yan. so ito yung top ten, ito yung top five. Below naman, you have the time. Kumbaga yung, ito yung time kung kailan na benta or may bumili or the selling transactions of that specific stock. So beside naman, you will see additional details. So the main details you will see here, the stock code, stock name, and then quick, uh, actually ito parang shortcut na din siya. So the buy and sell, should you want to, kumbaga, bi uh, bibili agad kayo or bibenta agad kayo ng Jollibee if you have one, diba? So you can do this one. You also have here yung closing price ni Jollibee. Okay. So next, we have here uh, additional details lang. More details lang of those time transa ah, ah, buy and sell transactions. So kumbaga at this time, uh, 2.59 p.m. So may nagbenta or may nagtransact ng Jollibee at the price of 235. So ito yung equivalent volume, value, and the brokers uh, involved. Okay, so next we have here the buyers and sellers. So ito naman siya, broker specific ito. So other buyers, so ito yung mga brokers na bumili. Nung, uh, uh, ito yung top brokers or top transactions nung uh, Jollibee. Tapos sa baba naman, ito naman yung uh, sellers natin. So you have here the volume, the value, the average, and their percentage weight. So next we have here the volume review. So, kumbaga, ito yung per transactions nung ating uh, stock. So, you will see here uh, the price, the number of volume traded, and the value, and the number of trades, and yung kanyang percentage total naman. So, kumbaga, 
mahulog siya na ito yung pinakamababang price, tapos ito naman yung pinakamataas na price. So, meron pong transaction ng Jollibee at a price of 238.6. May isa po nag-trade, tapos ito yung value, and then other details. And then next, we have here the company news. So, for the company news, since stock specific siya, so these are news from Jollibee. So, we have here cash dividends ni Jollibee, and then other details. So if in case you want to read on this, so you can simply uh, click any of this and you will be redirected na to another uh, tab. Okay? So the next thing we have here, broker info. So sa ating broker info, these are broker transactions. So first one, broker rankings. So the brokers are being ranked based on their uh, total value, both value, sold value, and net value. So say for first metro, so we have here FMS, ito yung total value trades, total value ng buy transactions, and then sell transactions, and yung kanyang net value. If you click this, you will be redirected naman sa broker activity, which shows you uh, more details na of the transactions. Okay, so basically yun yung ating broker info. Next, market stats. So if, uh, yeah, let's open this again. And check on market glance. So, dito sa display, you will only see the top five. So, top five ng ating gainers, na ating worst losers, and then uh, most active. Pero in this uh, tab, or in this uh, dashboard, you will see naman yung uh, top 30. So, kunwari, ito yung top 30 stocks na most active. Tapos next, you have here the top 30 uh, gainers and then yeah top 30 losers and then uh, ito, top traded so same details na actually so you have here the last price price difference percentage change previews value and volume trades uh, you can also sort this one so click nyo lang in any of the columns depende kung ano yung data na gusto ninyong i-retrieve so let me just turn off the extended view Okay, so yun yung ating market stats. So it gives you a view of the top 30 stocks ng no ating PSEI. So ito yung ating most active, top gainers, worst losers, and top traded. So next we have here market indices. So sa ating market indices, so ito yung ating chart. And then the performance of the PSEI, the difference, its percentage change. We also have here... Uh, the stocks that went up, so ito yung ating advances, declines, and change, volume, and value. So if you click on advances, you will be redirected dun sa ating top gainers. So going back, if you click naman on the declines, dun naman tayo sa worst losers. Okay. So you also have here details ng ating index. So the PSEI, financial index, the industries. And then their respective performance. So nandito yung kanyang last price, the difference, yung opening high, and the low. Okay, so basically yun yung ating code stub. So it provides you data ng inyong stocks when it comes to the, ito. So we have here the, when it comes to the code, so bid and ask, stock info, the broker info, market stats, and the market indices. So the next thing we will explore is the analytics naman. So the analytics, it provides you more of the, ito na yung ating mga fundamentals and the technicals. So, okay, let me just click this one. Parang mahina lang yung aking internet connection. Okay, sige. Uh, let's go back to that later. Ah, okay. Yan. So okay na siya. So this is the analytics tab. So the first thing, we have here the price. So under price, we have here the daily quotation, 52-week, uh, year-to-date percentage change, and index movers. So dito ninyo, uh, uh, this is the part of the platform na check ninyo kung if you want to retrieve this data. So say price, daily quotation, uh, you have here all of the stocks under PSEI. You will see here your previews, open, high, low close volume, value, and percentage change. And then you can also export this one if you want, uh, kumbaga, if ito yung basis ng inyong uh, trading. Next, we have here the price ng stocks in the last 52 weeks. So again, uh, some customization. So we have here the predefined. If gusto ba ninyong i-retrieve yung 52 week ng ating uh, lahat ng shares, 
or the stocks under the PSCI. So, pili lang kayo. Or your uh, watch list or your stock position. So, for this one, say watch list. So, ito yung 52-week price ng ating watch list. So, say for ASEN. Last price, this one, 3.6. It's 52-week high is 6.30. 52-week low is ito, 3.1. And you also have here the percentage equivalent ng high and low na yun. So next, we also have here the year-to-date change. So kung meron 52 week, meron ding year-to-date. So it is the data, ang start niyan siya from uh, January 1. So yeah, medyo mahina lang yung internet connection. Yeah, Pero it will show you kung ano yung um, difference from the current. Yan, ito. So we have here also all of the stocks. Ito yung kanyang last traded date. Then, yeah, for the year, ito yung start price. Tapos for uh, current, ito naman. Yung kanyang percentage change. And the year-to-date high and the year-to-date low. So, say for this one, let's check. Oh, ito, avoid this. Yung start price niya for the year, 49.90. Last price niya kanina was 40. So, ito naman yung equivalent na percentage change. Highest price, 53. Lowest price is 38.50. Okay, and next we have the index movers. So, sa index movers, you will see here, uh, same details, last price, yung kanyang market capitalization, and other details na din. Okay, so next we have here shares. Yan. So, under shares, you will see here kumbaga, yung total number of shares and yung total market capitalization. So, again, you can uh, choose from the predefined na mga options. So, all shares or the PSEI or your watch list or stock position. So, kunwari, for this, we have SM. Ito yung last price, 947.50. Price difference, you have here, percentage. Ito yung total number of shares and yung kanyang total market capitalization. So, you can export this one naman. No? If you want to, kumbaga, review this one, check on this from time to time. Next, we have the technicals. So, for the technicals and the fun financial, actually, ito na yung uh, useful for the active traders. Okay, so some of the technicals. Let's wait for it to load. Um, yeah. Okay, so we have here RSI and the moving average. So basically, you will see here lang um, common. We have the 200-day period, the 100-day 100 100-day period, 50, and the rest. So under RSI, you will see here kung ano yung uh, performance, if the market is neutral or trending ba. Yan. So you can also export this one. Next, we have the moving average. So, dito nyo makikita if the stock is bearish ba or bullish. Depende na sa itong 200 or 150 uh, period na mga moving average. And also, pwede nyo din siya i-export. Next, we have the financial. So, for the financial, so you have here, yeah, mga valuation, mga par and book value, and the rest. So, to begin, at yung ating par and book value. So, you will see here uh, par price ng stock. Itong details na last versus par. You can export this one. Next, we have the earnings per share. You can also check on this. Sa ating earnings per share, uh, retrieve nyo itong uh, three years actually. Yung pwede ninyo ma-check. We also have here the PER. Okay? We also have the dividend yield. Okay? If you are into stocks, who gives out dividends? So, makikita ninyo dito kung how much yung kanilang uh, dividend yield. You can also export this one. And lastly, itong debt to equity ratio. So, actually, I'm not gonna delve in this na further. Uh, I will also share to you that we have a session no, entitled GIF, which is um, conducted by Sir Aaron Sai, yung aming consultant. So, a GIF is a course, so you can enroll. Uh, kasi Sir Aaron will explain all the details about technical, financial. It is really helpful, especially if you are, if you want to advance your trading journey. No? Okay, so we are actually done with the analytics. The next thing we will explore is yung research tab naman. So first, Metro Securities, we have our own research team. And this is where we share to you the insights of our team. So first, we have here company data. 
So under company data, first thing, yan. Actually, nag-automatic na siya, no? So say for GFC, first thing, you will see the company profile, uh, incorporation date, annual meeting schedule, their contact info, and a short profile. Next, you will see yung valuation naman ng company. So you will see here five, uh, last five years valuation ng company. So ito, per share data, price ratios, dividend info, share info. Uh, you can export this one as well. So next, we have the financials. So quick glance lang ng financials nila. Earning summary, balance sheets, account, or balance sheet accounts, income statement accounts, and other details. So you can also export this one. Next, we have the dividend history. If that stock gives out dividends, so this is where uh, you check no if how much ba yung dividends na nabibigay nila, kung anong klaseng dividend ba. So we have here, uh, is it a stock? Cash, splits, or rights. So you will see the details and the value. Yung X date, yung record date, and the date payable. Okay. Next, uh, company news. So these are news related to the company. So ito nga. So we have here the declaration of their cash dividends. And then, yeah, other details. Next, we have here the first Metrosec report. So with first Metrosec, we do have a lot. With first Metrosec, we do have a lot of research, no? So let us start here with the all reports. So if you are familiar, yung mga existing, I know, and I hope you are exploring the research tab kasi very useful siya. We have many kinds of reports and let uh, we will explore this one by one. So the first one, ito muna. Ito muna daily report. Okay. So, let me... Share. Okay, so this is the daily report. So it is being published daily. Yeah. So the report is titled "What's Brewing at First Metrosec." So sa ating daily report, it will show you the performance of the PSEI. Ito siya. Just okay. So you will see here the performance of the PSEI twelve month at the chart. You will also see here uh, the performance of the index and then other indices and global indices as well. So dito naman, you will see the equity summary and outlook. So the, the research team will just explain to you what happened to the market. Ganyan. And sa baba naman, you will see the stock calls for the day. So kumbaga, ito yung recommendation nila. So for this report, their stock call is GFC. So you will see here uh, their explanation and kung ano yung advice nila. So on the next page, you will see here, yan, yung ating PSEI top gainers and losers. We also have here the data ng ating lahat ng shares, okay? Na hindi lang siya part ng PSEI. So we also have here links ng international news, local and corporate. So, sa baba, we have here uh, more news which you can explore then. Okay. So, actually, the daily report is useful. Lalo na if you are the kind of trader na nagbabasa talaga, no? Before the market opens. Okay. So, let me go back to the other screen. Yeah. So, that is our daily report. The next report, we have here a weekly report naman. So, for the weekly report, okay, this is one. So for the weekly report, it is the market blueprint. So it will tell you or uh, share to you what happened to the market last week and kung ano yung mangyayari sa market uh, this week. So yan. Uh, this is published uh, last Monday lang. So the PSEI, ito yung performance niya last week, what happened to the sector, and kung ano yung top foreign buying and selling. So sa baba, you will see here a uh, quick, quick glance of the chart ng ating index. Performance ng ating uh, PSEI ng top 5 gainers and losers and some economic data. And then you will see here, dito sa side, this paragraph, uh, it will tell you what happened to the PSEI last week and what could possibly happen in the PSEI this week. We also have here the key data releases and also some schedules if merong mga earnings release and other details. Also, on the next page, meron naman tayong peaks for the week. So, say for this week, uh, as per our research, 
Ito, we have here Avoitis, we have here DigiPlus, and the Manila Electric Company or the MER. So if you read on this, uh, it explains kung bakit siya naging picks of the week. So next, we have uh, here uh, more details lang no ating top gainers and top users. Okay? So you can explore this one. On the next page, we have here the technical analysis naman ng ating PSEI. So what could possibly happen on the PSEI this week? So you will see here kung ano yung support and the resistance and also the analysis and the trading plan. Okay? And some disclosures. So going back on the platform, let's explore another report. Let's check on... Okay, this one, the technical analysis. Okay, so for the technical analysis, analysis, so basically, it's more on the technicalities, no? So you will explore here kung ano yung mga opportunity type. Yeah, you can just read on this, other details, and also definitions. Okay, let us go back. Uh, the next report we will explore, okay, this one. The consensus corner. Okay. Okay itong consensus corner if you want to filter na no, stocks that you want to uh, invest. Okay. So for consensus corner, it is, we have here data or ano na, list na ng mga stocks natin. Kumbaga, let's go to the part. Let's define muna what is consensus corner. So the consensus corner so it compiles all stocks with a consensus target price and consensus rating. So kumbaga ito yung target price or projected price level ng ating mga analysts. Kumbaga they forecast uh, prices tapos uh, ina-average lang nila. So from that um, average, so they come up with the consensus rating. So consensus rating, ito na yung mga buy, hold, and a strong buy. Ganyan. So on the first page, you have here the consensus corner of your PSEI. So nakakategorize na din siya. So we have here, okay. so we have here holdings. So kunwari for the first one, AC. Um, as of this report, yan, eto, April 12, so we have here yung price ng AC is 601. Yung consensus rating niya is a buy. So Consensus rating niya is a buy because the analysts think um, AC will go as high as 884 pesos. So if ever na you were able to buy AC at this price na 601 and then umabot siya doon sa target price, consensus target price, so you have a potential, ah, hindi na siya potential. So you have a profit of 47.09%. So other than that, other than the PSEI, so you can explore this one. We also have consensus corner na manong ating mid cap. Okay, so say for this one, a read, the consensus target price is 44. So as of April 12, price niya is 33.95. Yung kanyang consensus rating is a strong buy. So the analyst recommends that you buy this uh, stock. Kasi if umabot siya dun sa target price na 44, so you have a profit of 29.60. So if you explore other pages, so you have here consensus corner of your uh, dividend yield stocks. You also have here yung property sector, uh, the mining and oil sector, holding firms, services, and also yung ating financials. Okay? So let's... Move on to the next report. Okay. So let's check on the latest ito, latest na Traders Playbook na report. Okay. So yung ating Traders Playbook, I believe ito yung isa sa mga binabasa talaga. If ever na you have an account with First Metro Securities kasi it is a stock specific. Our research team shares their insights and also recommends kung ano yung uh, trading plan ninyo on this specific stock. So ito, kalala kalalabas lang kanina. So we have uh, MY, so mega wide. So ito yung ating um, recommendation or kumbaga summary of the recommendation of our research team. So we have here mega wide construction, de details, what happened ang view ng aming research team and the recommendation. So, our research team recommends to accumulate M-wide once it breaks above the 3 pesos on strong volume 
Tapos you have to set a uh, stop loss limit below 2.76 and take profits at around 3.45. So, yun yung aming recommendation or the recommendation of our research team. Okay, other details naman. We have the chart naman ng ating M-wide, the technical corner. And then, you have here yung ating analysis and the trading plan. And then, some disclosures. So, actually, the trader's playbook is being released uh, usually Thursday siya. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, ganyan. So you can just check on the platform on the latest report of the Traders Playbook. Okay, so let's go back to the navigation to the website. Okay, so yun yung um, first Metrosec report. So you can explore many reports here. Actually, uh, it will really help you on your trading decisions. And also, kumbaga, at least you know the company no, na you have. Kung, kung, ano yung magi, kung ano yung history ng company. So next, we have your company research naman. So these are um, company specific. So let's check on this. Let's check on JFC. So ito yung company report of JFC. So its uh, recommendation is a buy. So the target price is uh, 300, okay? And then other details, so highlights, what's new with JFC, uh, what happened to the management and other details as, as well. So if you just uh, scan on the on the pages, so you will see here yung definitions ng rating system ng ating research team, okay? So let's go back. And so that's the company research. Next is the stock screen. So sa stock screen naman, let me just open. Yeah. So the stock screen, well, it screens some stocks, no? Kasi we have this um a fundamental measurement, no? So it is being categorized on this. As you can see on our screen, we have here... Uh, category na riding the flows on love and yield seeker. So if ever na you are, kumbaga, you have no idea pa on what stocks to choose or to invest, uh, this uh, stock screen report will help you decide. Okay? Kasi it recommends you um, some stocks. So the first uh, stock screen we have, yung ating category or the fundamental uh, measurement, we have here riding the flows. So ano ba yung definition ng riding the flows? So these are stocks that gives high, uh, these are high liquidity stocks with foreign visibility and strong earnings expectation. So under this category, ito yung mga company that fits you know, on this uh, definition. So we have here DigiPlus, Mondenisen, Bloomberry, SM, and this one, ICT. So, should you want to invest on stocks that are ito, high liquidity? So, ito yung recommendation. So, next naman, we have here yung peers naman nung uh, stocks na yun. And then, their uh, performances, other details na kumbaga necessary. Tapos, next stock screen, we, we have yung unloved. So, unloved stocks, those are stocks that generate high earnings growth but are undervalued by the market. So you expect growth on those stocks, kahit na mura siya. Okay, so we have here uh, Security Bank, we have Manila Water Company, we have Aboytis, Converge, JG Summit Holdings. So ito yung ating mga unloved stocks. So next, we have here naman yung ating yield seekers. So these are stocks that generate above average dividends. Okay? So we have here, actually, ito na stocks, pa ulit ulit lang ito sila. So we have here Metro Bank, we have PLDT, ARIT, MRIT, and RLC, or the Robinsons land, commercial REIT. Okay, other details you will see here, yung kanyang peers naman. And then the methodology. So again, if you are not sure or you do not have idea pa on what stocks no, to invest. So the stock screen filters those stocks now based on this uh, category, yung mga unloved, riding the flows, and yield seeker. Okay. 
So those are the um, reports available sa ating research tab. So again, we have different kinds of research. Pwede nyo siya i-explore, basahin before the market start or opens. And then actually, pwede nyo siya basahin kahit na anywhere lang. Okay, once we are, you have na the details of the company, the next thing you will do is, eto na, magcha-chart na kayo. So next, uh, we have three different uh, charts here. We have the static, interactive, and the chart pattern recognition. So sa so static, as in static lang siya. Hindi na siya gumagalaw. O ano yung uh, sinet ninyo na data here? So it will provide niya na automatic. So parang quick glance na siya. And I think di siya masyadong ginagamit din. Pero for um, for the sake lang of this um, webinar, so ito yun, you can do customize. Meron tayong bar chart, line chart, or the candlestick chart. Tapos you can check on the daily, weekly, or monthly data and other indicators. So we have here, uh, you just uh, check on this. Another, uh, aside from the static chart, we have the interactive chart. So the interactive chart is, I believe, very common. Ito yung kinagamit natin kasi it is very, aside from the gives you other details, no more details, useful din talaga siya. So again, uh, input nyo lang the stock code on this part. So since we used GFC kanina, so automatic na din siya. Okay, so some customization. So we have here, if you want to view on the, eto, yung kumbaga the time lang. So one week ba, one month, or one day. So for this, okay, let's select one day. So in this part, okay, let me just, okay. So in this part, select kung anong klaseng um, chart ang gusto ninyo. So we have bar, candle, hello. So itong common, the most common, the candle chart. And then the settings, so kunwari uh, sa background, gusto ninyo malinis lang. So you can do it here. So pan glance lang. If you want the background to be green, so select green, ganyan. So if you want white, so balik lang kayo. Okay, so we have also here indicators. So kunwari gusto ninyo makita yung mga moving average. So say, yan. So just type it here, moving average. And you will see it here na. Next, if you want the uh, RSI. So, Relative Strength Index. And so, and it will be provided as well dito sa baba and other indicators. If ever naman na ayaw na siya makita or if you want to hide or remove, you just simply click this I icon or the X icon to either delete or hide. Okay? And also, yung ating, um, you can also draw on the interactive chart. So we have here the drawing tools. So you just click on this one. So we have here options, horizontal, trend, angle. Uh, I'll just show you on how to do some customization. Let's use the, on how to draw. Let's use muna the, okay. Nagamitin natin yung Traders Playbook Research, this one on my so i'm just gonna show you kung paano lang magplot that as based on the recommendation ng ating uh, research team so ipaplot natin siya dun sa ating interactive chart so again the recommendation is to accumulate my once it breaks above 3 pesos on strong volume tapos set stop loss limit below 2.76 tapos take profits at around 3.45 so we will first uh, set. Okay, let's go back sa ating chart, interactive chart, M wide. Okay. So, the first thing, yan. So, dito tayo sa trend line. And then, yan. Okay. Wait, let me just, okay. So, once you've ano, na added na the trend line, you can actually do this one, extend it lang. To input the details, no? So you just click on the settings. Okay. Lang para medyo. Ano siya may? May. Let me just cancel again. Okay, yan. So sa coordinates natin. 
So to add a horizontal line, so you just click anywhere. Click on the settings icon. So for the coordinates, again, it's, um yeah, accumulate on 3 pesos. So ito yung ating coordinates, 3. Let's natin konti. Medyo na, medyo mahirap lang yung bar. But anyway, yeah. So this is the buy on breakout. Buy on oh. So let Make it color green. Yan. So, ito na yung ating uh, buy on breakout na recommendation na 3 pesos. So, you can clone this one. So, you just click on clone. Okay. Click this and click on settings. Another coordinate uh, we will input is yung stop loss na 2.76. So, 2.76. Actually, nasa pinakababa siya. Okay. And then, yung settings niya. So, since stop loss siya, so usually it's a red. Stop loss. Okay. Hindi lang visible yung, ayan. So, yeah. So, this is labeled na as, as a stop loss. Tapos, the last one is, so you can, yeah, click on clone. And then click on this setting to change the coordinates. So take profits at 3.45. So 3.45 yung ating coordinates. And then the style. So let's make it green. And then say target price. And okay. So yeah. So we have here yung parang quick glance lang. If in case you wanna draw para easy for you to check, no? Kung ano na yung status ng ating MY based on the recommendation of our research team. So you can take a snapshot by clicking this one and you can also save the chart. Kung baga people use this kasi para at least meron na silang idea no? kung ano yung next na price action nila. Okay, so that is the interactive chart. So next, we have here the chart pattern recognition. If ayaw niyo naman yung kayo na yung manually nag input ng mga prices and the other details, so we have yung automatic na. So ito yung ating chart pattern recognition. So we have here M white kasi ito na yung naset kanina. Pero let's go back sa ating homepage. So ito yung homepage ng ating chart pattern recognition. So you have here kung ano yung recently viewed ninyo na chart, uh, most uh, viewed bullish also, the most popular one and the trending. So, let's check on the trending. Say itong fill invest. Yan. So, you will be provided na of the automatic charting ng fill invest. So, we have here yan, daily, weekly. You can just explore this one. And ito yung mga labels actually, the legends, kung ano yung mga green. You will see it here. And also, yeah. So, baba naman, you will see the support and resistance and also yung stop price niya. So, automatic na talaga siya. Okay? If you click on this uh, homepage again, you will see the screener. So, the screener, yeah, you have the uh, automatic chart ng ating stocks and ETFs, tapos yung ating index. You can also create watch list and also if you want to receive some alerts. So, ito yung ating under the technical look up. If ever naman na nakalimutan niyo yung code, so you just click on the symbol guide, which is uh, ito. Okay. So next, we have the learn technical analysis. So this is like your uh, guide. No? If you are not familiar now on the technicality, so you can always check this one. This is accessible. Meron siyang courses. So we have here, yeah. So modules. So module one, basic building blocks. Module 2, Interpreting Charts, and Module 3, Trends and Key Levels. So in each um, videos or in each uh, session, you will also have the opportunity or the chance to evaluate yourself kasi meron siyang quizzes. So these are the topics. So you can just explore this one. Actually, the the videos, uh, short lang siya, uh, 8, 10 minutes, just like this one. Okay. So, this is very useful for uh, beginners like me. 
So we are now done with the charts tab. So the next one we will do is to trade na. Since we have all the details, yung details from the analytics, from our quotes, from our research team, and the charts. So all we have to do na is to do the uh, execution na. So this is where you buy and sell the stocks. So under the trade tab natin, so we have the order. View orders, view trades, and the view history. So, sa new order, we have here this one. So, input lang kayo ng orders dito. So, say, uh, bibili or bibenta kayo ng stocks. So, yan. So, let's select the transaction. So, kunwari, yung MY natin kanina. So, if you click on this get code, uh, get code, you will see the top 5 bid and ask nung ating MY. Tapos, sa baba naman, input the quantity. So you have here automatic na din yung board lot, no? So uh, M wide is uh, minimum niya na quantity is 1,000 and uh, increments thereof. So ito, say bibili kayo ng 1,000 um, shares of M wide. So input niyo lang here. So for the price, yan, ito. If ever nabibili po kayo ng stocks, so you will look at the ask price kasi ito yung mga nagbebenta ng mga shares nila. These are the people who have existing shares of MY. Same as with the sell. So dito kayo titingin sa bid price. So for the price, uh, these are some of the considerations. No? If you want your order to be matched like within the day, of course, you will check on the best price. So ngayon, the best price of MY is 200, ah, sorry, 2 pesos and 95 cents. So, you can just input 2 pesos and 95, okay? And then, click on this. Ito usually yung ating expiration. So, day, good till week, good till month. Tapos, yung total value ng iyong trades. So, again, at the best price is always the, ito yung sa, sa pinakamataas. So, to review lang your buy transaction, no? Tapos, if ever gusto niyo mamatch agad siya, check niyo lang. If ever, your quantity matches the ask volume. So since you want to buy 1,000 shares of M-Wide, tapos meron namang 18,000 shares willing to be sold o nung M-Wide. So there's a possibility, higher chance talaga na your uh, order will be matched within the day. So once you are okay with the transaction, you just click on preview order. And then you will be provided now of the details. So you just input your password if you are okay with the transaction. Okay. So with the sell, actually same lang. You just uh, check on the bid price. So if ever binili ninyo yung inyong MY at 2 pesos and 95 cents and you want to sell it at the price of 3 pesos, so uh, nakalinya lang kayo. Kasi as of now, yung best price is 2.90. So, ma-match lang yung order ninyo. If meron na pong um, 3 pesos available dito sa ating bid price. Okay? And let me also share to you the trade calculator. Okay. So, for the trade calculator uh, shows you a quick glance no, kung ano yung uh, magiging profit niyo if you do this uh, buy and sell order. So, to do that, uh, for the com rate, it's yan, 0 0.0025. Okay, so let's use uh, example no yung M wide natin kanina. So since yan, one thousand quantity is one thousand, tapos bibilhin niyo yung M wide at two point at two point ninety five pesos. So eto yung transaction ng inyong uh, uh, buy. So eto yung buy gross, the commission, the other fees, the total charges. So eto na talaga yung net. If in case naman, ibebenta ni na, so let's, yung recommendation ng ating uh, research is to take profit at 3.45. So input natin sa ating cell. Wait lang ha, let me just share this one. Yan, so yan yung ating trade calculator. Okay, so again, uh, uh, refresh ko lang. So, ito yung ating commission rate, tapos the stock is M wide, the quantity is 1,000, the price is 2.95. So, if ipibenta niyo na ang inyong M wide based on the recommendation ng ating research, so the price is 3.45, so you have a net profit of 
this amount. And ito yung percentage naman ng inyong gain. So, kumbaga, if you wanna check lang kung how much yung magiging profit ninyo sa inyong stock. So, this is the tool, no? Na you need to uh, utilize. Yung ating trade calculator. Okay? So, going back to the platform. Okay. Yan. So, that's how you do your buy and sell using the trade calculator. Tapos, if you forgot naman the code, you just click on the symbol guide. Tapos, yung ating board lot din. It is also provided na here. So, quick glance lang din of the, our board lot. Yan. So, it shows you dito kung ano yung minimum price, maximum price. So, for MY, the current price is 2.95. So, 2.95 uh, dito siya na belong. Yan. So, 0.5 and 4.99. So, the board lot is 1,000. So, meaning you can buy and sell M-wide na 1,000 yung volume and increments thereof. Tapos yung fluctuation niya is 0 0.01. So, yung increase ng prices or the decrease ng price is by 0 0.01. So, yun yung ating board lot. Okay. Next thing. Actually, yeah, we are almost done na din with the navigation. So, once you've confirmed your order, so makikita niyo na siya under sa view orders. So, sa view orders, you have here all your orders, all your open, match, canceled, and rejected orders. So, you can also filter based on ito ba if you want to check on both buy and sell or yung buy lang ba or yung set. Okay? And then, you also have your view ng Indian trades. And then you also have here a view history. So sa view history, you have two history of your ledger, or kumbaga your ledger, and your order. So sa ledger, actually, if uh, this is like a statement of account in an Excel form, you will see here, say, if nag-fund kayo ng account, if merong na-credit sa inyo na dividends, if ever na merong uh, nag-transactions, like mga withdrawal, so yan, dito niyo siya makikita sa ledger. Next, the orders naman. So, you will be able to retrieve your order transactions. So, select ni lang yung start date, tapos yung end date. Okay? And that's for the trade. And lastly, itong news. Actually, you can explore this one on your own. So, also one way no, of uh, knowing what's happening in the market. So, we have here news from the exchange and also uh, disclosures ng mga company. So, yeah, I guess that's it. That's our uh, navigation of the first MetroSec uh, classic platform. So, again, the classic platform is very simple. It is perfect to those who want na parang, ano lang, simple lang, madali lang na i-retrieve yung mga data. Actually, I'm using also the classic platform. Okay, so I guess that ends my presentation tonight. Ayun. So thank you very much, John, no? so for sharing with us all about the classic uh, trading platform, which can be maximize your trading experience. No, uh, na pa ba lang ng konti? Less will be uh, able to reach the end of our webinar, no, but before you move on that part if you have questions i actually saw some of the questions in the q and a no and also in the chat box uh keep it coming lang and then simply write them down in our designated q and a section of the platform and we'll try to raise them later during the live q and a so at this time no before we move on to live q and a i'd like to share a couple of things on behalf of first metro security yeah. So for those na wala pang um investment uh or trading account with no um nakita natin sa Paul kanina na may mga nag no um and of course if you are very interested in First Metro Securities and opening an account with us actually if you want if with us you will uh, you will able to access your portfolio using your de the desktop whether you are um, using your tablet or even your mobile phone. At the same time, you can actually invest in PSE stocks. We also have real estate investment. Um, uh, and coming mutual funds from our fund smart partners. We also have the U.S. bonds and of course the exchange traded 
uh, funds, no? And then for those account opening, no, if you if you want to compare in older time, hindi mas yung investor friendly because you uh pumunta ka pa sa office, you, those physical forms, uh medyo balik balik yung process no before you activated or start with trading. So right now with First Metro Securities and also at the comfort of your home, you can actually open an account or a trading account with us no using our website and your or metro securities go mobile app so for faster process your account opening application please do use the seminar code classic para alam namin na galing po kayo dito na platform so to give you an idea no to we'll show you a short video lang on how to open an account with us using a mobile application First Metro Sec Go for you. Easily open your account today with this app. You can download the First Metro Sec Go app through Play Store or App Store for free. If you already have it on your device, simply open the app and click Sign Up Now. Next, you need to create a user ID, read and agree to the terms, and provide these information. Once you're done, click the link on the email verification set. Now, let's complete your account application. First, input your account information. Then, provide your user information. Next, accomplish the investor profile form. Almost there! Read and agree to the terms and conditions. And click agree. You will then receive your reference number through the app. Don't forget to save this for your initial deposit. Next, upload or take a photo of these requirements. One valid ID, three signatures and a piece of white paper, proof of address, and proof of bank account. If you're self-employed, there are additional requirements. You can make your initial deposit through bills payment, online fund transfer, over-the-counter deposit, or remittance. The minimum 5,000 pesos or 100 US dollars can be used to invest in stocks, funds, and bonds. There is no maintaining balance required. Next, you will need to verify your identity. Simply take a photo of your ID and take a selfie. We're all set! An email confirmation will be sent to you in two to three business days. Happy trading! For more information, visit our help center at help.firstmetrosec.com.ph. All the options and convenience within your reach through International Finance's best online broker and best online trading platform for four years in a row. With First Metrosec, it's your future first. So for our social media channels, no, uh, feel free to connect with us with our main web www.firstmetrosec.com.ph and also for our social media channel, our Facebook uh, official channel, we have Instagram, Spotify, we do have TikTok, Twitter, and also YouTube. So as I said earlier, no, yung mga sessions namin, yung mga past sessions are uploaded na sa ating YouTube channel. And also for our existing clients, uh, whether if you have um, account concerns no or updates or even um, request, kindly email na lang po customer service at perjosec.com.ph. Okay? 
And also for our market education efforts, no. Um, if you do want customized gamified market education programs exclusively designed for your company or connected to school ninyo or even organization, the formal invite na lang po at market education at firstmetrosec.com. Okay, but before we approach the end of our webinar, no. Um, let us have a quick classic or a live Q&A before we close our session no, with our speaker. You can actually ask her about her presentation. Um, again, no, simply write them down sa ating Q&A and we'll to, uh, get through as many as we can during um, the allotted time. Okay. Actually, Kanina, we've um, received some of the questions. No, basically, these are we cannot cater all. No, so uh, we'll go one by one. Okay, Joe, for the first question, no, baka you can shed a light. Um, from this is an anonymous attendee, and with regards to trading alerts, no, from their emails, uh, why is it that first Metrosec, um, uh, maybe stop sending trading alerts to their emails? Baka meron lang, um, update regarding this one yeah uh thank you for this question no at least uh we will clarify this one actually it's currently undergoing maintenance <clears throat> so if it's okay na so we will start sending na po the uh trade alerts because it's very useful din talaga yeah ayan thank you joe so for this one um another feature no um how to sell odd lot shares Yes. Okay. So actually, I wasn't able to share that one. Let me just uh, share my screen again. Hmm. Okay. So to trade using the Adlat, so let's just go back then sa ating trade tab and click on this Adlat tab. So this one. Uh, the thing is, Adlat uh, order is available lang po when the market is open so if in case uh you uh i mean you must do the transaction no on that uh, specific time frame so you just click on this add lot same information lang naman ang tatanungin so you will provide the buy and sell transaction ba siya input the stock code the quantity and then your price and you just preview and confirm your order so you just go here sa ating add lot yeah. Okay. So yeah, let me stop. Yeah. Okay. For the next question, no. Um, for this one, um, can I access your account on website and mobile, regardless of where you are, uh, you created your account? Yes. Pwede niyo po access as long as you, uh, do know your login credentials. Yes. Okay. Next question, um, Jo. Do accounts go dormant if there are no activities? If yes, how many months or years? Okay. Actually, for the dormancy, usually it's uh, well to a maximum siguro of five years. Um, another thing that is helpful is to check your emails po. For the account update notice or emails, kasi we require your accounts to be updated every two years. So once na-receive na yung email, so it is due for updating and we uh, we hope na on your prompt response or prompt uh, action on this matter kasi it will, ano naman, it will also help you on your convenience and security as well. So when it comes to dormancy, madormant lang siya as long as walang, uh, walang amount, like zero talaga yung portfolio, no cash, no holdings. So that is when the account is dormant na. Thank you, Joe. I think this will be the last question no, before uh, we end our webinar. Uh, maybe some update na lang siguro, Joe, or when will the short selling be available in the platform? Actually, for the short selling, uh, not available pa siya kasi there are things we have to dis uh, consider. So first is um, uh, knowledge na din of the uh, summon on our part. So we have to study, we have to do some trainings, and as well as yung platform. Okay, the, plus, the platform must be ready for that kind of transaction. So once everything is okay na, so I guess uh, short selling can go na din, can go live na. So it's on the education and the platform availability. 
Okay, thank you, Joe. Um, super last question, no? In and uh, in terms of requirements, na lang siguro for students. Um, I think we received some of the questions way way before, pa. Um, is there a way that students can also open Retrosec account with a student friendly budget? So actually, Joe can share more about this, no? But um, with regards with this one, it's one thousand for the op account opening, no? But Ah uh, baka nalito lang kayo kasi kanina yung sa video it's 5000. Maybe on more on the requirements, for example TIN, maybe Jo can share more about it. Yeah, for the TIN, actually since uh students no don't have TIN um, uh, TIN pa. So we we'll, what we will do is we will uh give you an endorsement letter. So the letter comes from us, we will give it to BIR. And then from that, you will be provided now of your TIN number. So uh, you just provide the usual details like the account information, IDs for the IDs if you have passport, a student ID will do, and better than if you have na say ano ba, driver's license, ganyan for a student or, yeah, pero those IDs actually, passport, student ID. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you, Joe. I think some of the questions meron pa, no, but to record those one offline na lang siguro because um medyo konting lang pasan tayo sa ating um oras no but nonetheless uh, you can still raise those questions to us no kindly email us or even chat with our facebook channel because we'll try to um feedback on those questions okay yeah, and so by uh that sums up actually our webinar. No, thank you so much for all the questions and also part participation from our attendees. And of course, thank you very much to our speakers. Ijo, no, regularly um also speaks about web navigation. And to our attendees, before we actually end our webinar, we also value your feedback. So you can share your thoughts and experiences with us by scanning the QR code that's showing us and answer our feedback survey and also um wala kaming link na masasend sa chat no uh, but this will be the first time but um we we'll advise you to please do scan na lang po the qr code and also we appreciate your contribution and look forward to implementing positive changes based on your valuable feedback so while you are answering the feedback survey no um thank you very much for those attendees who remain with us up until this time no maybe in words no sigur from our guest speaker jo yeah Okay, yeah, thank you so much for uh, again joining us tonight, joining me and Tara tonight. So it's already 7.31. <laughs> so I hope nakakain na kayo lahat. So, so uh, just to cut the story short, so I hope you learned something from the navigation and I hope to those with existing accounts with First Metro Security, so you will, uh, I provided no on how to utilize pa the First Metro Sec Classic platform. And to those naman na wala pa, so I hope uh, since you are considering first metro securities as their investment partner so we would be very happy to assist you on your trading journey and also lastly yeah join our webinars those are free and we are really happy to conduct those webinars for you <laughs> thank you joe and also um thank you for uh, the attendees no, actually, we do have some attendees uh, that are very familiar with us. Uh, thank you for sending your positive feedback and also your um thoughts with us. No, so once again, on behalf of First Metro Securities Brokerage Corporation, I'd like to express my deepest gratitude to our speaker, our team member, for gracing us with their um uh, with her time presence. No, so to our attendees, it is truly an evening well spent with you guys. Thank you for um keeping us in this time no and when it's really a lot with the, with regards with the classic trading platform and that this guys from our guest speaker will also make your investment journey uh, not just more but also more enjoyable so we hope to see you again in our future learning events hopefully on face-to-face -face sessions no because over here at first metro C Put your future first. Have a great evening, everyone. Keep safe. Happy dinner. Pa, hindi pa nakakain. Bye-bye. Thank you so much.